Good, thank you. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Good. This way. Okay. I think I was full when we, we left, so... I think during the time when they were, there was a civil war, then this palace must have been around 1997. We never really knew much about what my father was involved in, but I think it was on the 11th of May in 1997 when we had like um, a strip of armies that came to our house uh, looking for him. There was that kind of sense of there, it must, it must have been passing on information to like the rebels that were sort of kind of invading the place. And so they, they took him that night and after like heavily uh, beating him and, and everything else. And yeah, and that's, that was the last time we, we heard from him. But it's one thing that I knew that these people were coming to get us and mom had to take us away from them. So I was quite, we were quite scared so and I just wanted us to be safe. Yeah, and the following day after that, we we fled. Like we only took the clothes that we had on our bodies and everything else, and everything else was left behind. So from because we lived quite close to the border of uh, Zambia, so we fled from from there, having to cross the border illegally, which would like kind of smuggled in from like on back bicycles and stuff like that. And yeah, and got onto a truck which was going to the capital part of Zambia, and that's how we, we left the Congo. So, how did you come to be in the UK from Zambia? Uh, there is something they do um, for refugees, which is done by the refugee projects there. It's called the Resettlement Program. Yeah, so mom applied through that process and we were interviewed and they had our stories and everything else. And first they were gonna send us to Norway, which was a bit, we were really excited because we just wanted to get out of Zambia and go to go to Europe. But then they kind of considered, considered the health reasons for my sister. She can't be really in a place that's really cold and my brother they will be constantly ill all the time. And so that kind of fell off. And mom was really, really heartbroken because like, we were kind of holding on to the last bit. I was saying, if this really doesn't work out, I don't know how this is going to turn out. Yeah, and then we were sent to the UK from, from there. We stayed in London for like, I think, a week, which... They have something called the Gateway Project, which they did back then. And then that's basically just them kind of teaching a little bit about English culture, the things that you are uh, expected of you, filling a few documents and getting your housing uh, um, stuff sorted out. And then, yeah, we were brought to Norwich. Can you talk a little bit about the support that you had when you first came to Norwich? Um, the Gateway Project did a lot of uh, things. Um, I think they got us to like take some English classes uh, for adults and also young people. They had like they assigned some families that would take us and show us around places and stuff like that. And yeah, we just had like people from the Gateway Project bringing in other families to kind of support us to settle in well in Norwich. So they took us to places and uh, helped people that needed to get into schools. So yeah, they kind of just like really helped us in a way that there were families and people devoting their times, like kind of show us around, teach us a little bit about the culture. And even in times I remember like our first time here, my brother and sister both got really sick and we spent Christmas and New Year's Eve in hospital. But we had people come, in, come to visit us and stuff like that, which was really, uh, which was really great. And um, what would you say to people who want to help but aren't sure how? 
have a real sense of compassion and empathy towards uh, such people. For me, that should be a driving force. And in ways that you can help, you can help financially, you can help materially, but you can also help just by, if you know friends that have been through this kind of situation, just get not alongside them and showing them around and just being there for them. As for me, that, that, that has been one of the most important things is people just being there for you. And people that want to help, there are always different ways to, to help. One of them is by raising awareness. Uh, other ways is you can help, like I said, materially, you can help financially, but you can just also help to support people that have been through this.